Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video in my 2011 Jetta TDI. I developed the dreaded code. You can see my P3 gauge. Code 2015. This is a common code that will happen to the TDIs. And since mine is a 2011 and it's been through the emission fix, I most likely could have got this fixed under warranty. But this problem is going to happen again, and I figured I'm just going to get the part from Diesel Geeks and install it. A little while ago, the throttle actuator replaced under warranty, but uh, let's get this job done. So this is the part I picked up off of Diesel Geeks. There's a few options. So if you go this route, make sure to get the one for your Vico. And this is supposed to solve that problem. First thing we need to do is pull the top cover off. It looks like it already was loose. So this is what we need to remove right here. Three screws, one right there, one right there, one right there. And apparently from the dealership to fix this, they got to replace the intake manifold and it's quite expensive. So I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna pull this wire back with a zip tie and then disconnect this electrical connection. Hopefully the zip tie I got is long enough to do what it has to do and I think I'm good. I already found an issue I need to address. You can see where that wire has rubbed through the insulation there. So this tab right here, you're supposed to push it down and pull it out, but over time the plastic gets hard. So I'm gonna stick a screwdriver in the back side there to lift that tab up and then and then pull this electrical back a little bit and then get this plug out of the way now i need to remove that one that one and that one e27 the instructions said it was a t30 those liars Try not to drop the screws. I'll put them right up there on the dash piece. Not a lot of room in there. Somebody's got some fat fingers. That one's out. So I just put a rag down in there because down there, there's a spring we gotta disconnect. Camera wants to focus on everything else but what I want it to see. So we gotta disconnect that spring and then disconnect that tab. So I got my pry bar. There you go, I just popped it off. And the spring came off too. Lift us out. So now we got our part out. In order to fit it up, this piece is going to fit across like that. So you're going to have to push it ahead and insert it. Just like that. And then this piece goes down. You want to make sure it's flush going across. Like that. And then once you line her up, put a bolt in there, I guess. And then tighten that up. And then that is prevented from going back too far. So what I did 
is I isolated that one wire and then wrapped electrical tape around it to help protect it from future rubbing. I might have to look at trying to get a new plug in the future. So now that we got everything back together, we need to install it. That's going to be half the battle. First is trying to get that, that spring back on. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Instead of trying to use forceps, it's actually easier to clip the spring on through the side. I'm just going to try to fish this thing up now. I'm on, you bugger. I'm on. Oh, that spring's about to come off. I need my little screwdriver here to... Slider back on the side there. And then with one hand... Pop that back on. Double check, spring's still on good. Now let's carefully get some bolts back in there. Start lining her up. You bolt it up, you wanna make sure that spring is still attached. And then lastly, once you got everything lined up, start tightening it all up again. Theoretically now I should be able to go inside, clear the code, and start it and be good. Unless that chafed wire is going to give me some more issues. So inside the car, I want to go through, find the code, clear it. Uh, what does it say? Wrong one, fault codes. Enter. <clears throat> Let's go clear codes. See what happens when we start her up. Whoops. So as of right now, with the car running, cleared the codes, no fault codes, we may be good. You're gonna have to know for a few trips to see if that's gonna be the case or not. But I'm proud to report, running around doing a few errands, the code has not returned. So needless to say, that little mod definitely fixed it up. If there's any issues in the future, I will do a video on that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for watching that super simple mod by Diesel Geeks.